what is up everybody welcome back to the channel you guys shout out to my boy christian man it's you loyal subscribers it's my youtube fam that i do this for man all i'm trying to do all i've been doing from day one is documenting what i do right social media marketing facebook advertising building my social media agency running ads for myself running ads for other clients and really just documenting all that stuff right um getting into affiliate marketing getting into digital courses and showing you all that right landing pages email automation and 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 all the online software that it all consists of that's kind of been my channel for the past you know freaking three four years since 2017 depending on when you're watching this um and so what I really, what I really get, what really gets me fired up is when my message actually resonate resonates with some of you out there, and people start asking questions, and people really want to know my my strategy and my approach and how I did it and how I do it and all the above, right? I get off on stuff like that, man. I, I get fired up, man. So shout out to Christian, bro, for for just wanting to learn and asking questions um, from those who have came before him, right? Yours truly, for example. So. In this video, you guys, all I'm going to do is I'm going to unpack this th these questions um, from question, from Christian because I truly believe a lot of you will get value out of it. Um, and again, this is just my two cents. Everyone's different. Um, not everyone not everyone builds it the same. Not everyone has the right approach or the same approach. Like everyone's different, man. So whatever whatever you are good at, whatever your skill level is, whatever you're willing to take on. Um, do it and, and try to build something out of it. Cause I'm telling you, man, when it comes to freelancing or, or, or just digital services and social media marketing services, and really trying to service businesses out there, just this one niche alone, social media marketing, every business out there sucks at it. Every business out there needs you. Okay. Um, small, medium, large, they all need you. And if they don't need you, then they're most likely learning it themselves or maybe, hiring somebody internally as a as an employee that actually sits in their office and and does it for them but but this type of stuff even if you're a business owner that's not even really what you need to do you don't need to hire someone to to bring them in and call them an employee and have them on the clock 40 hours a week you can delegate it out to somebody very inexpensive and and not even have to put them on the payroll well you put them on the payroll but you wouldn't have to to um w2 them right you wouldn't have to be turn them into an employee they could be a freelancer they could be an independent contractor and you can delegate this out to, to to some young kids and not even not even not even not even have to pay them a lot right so no matter if you're if you're learning this stuff for yourself for your own personal business or you're trying to do it for other businesses i hope you get value of what I, value out of what i'm about to share with you because again what i'm sharing with you is just based on what i've been doing for clients um since 2017 and i'm gonna make this there's a shitload of questions in here every single one of them is freaking great this is good information christian so shout out to you bro i appreciate you for for bringing all these questions and and really allowing me to step up and and, and again give you my perspective on how i did it but i'm gonna make it very simple bro i'm gonna make it very very simple so i'm gonna for for all you that are watching i'm gonna i'm gonna run through this right here but again, I'm going to break it down and I'm going to make this shit simple because it's more, more easier than what I think most people put it out to be. So here's what it comes down to, man. Um, is it possible to make a video? Because I know hundreds of people out there like me um, will also like to know their main duty of a social media manager, a social manager, a freelancer, you know, et cetera, of getting clients, company, social media page, all that stuff, right? The main duty of a social media manager. Let's just... Let's just start there. Let's start there. Let's start there. Um, like to know their main duty of a social media manager. Here's the bottom line, man. And again, I'm going to make this super freaking easy for you. When I came onto the scene in 2016, okay, and I'm not going to bore you to death with my entire background on all this shit, but 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 it is what it is, and there is a starting point. It was 20, it was it was it was 2016. I, I got into 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 selling businesses on Google placement and websites and things like that in 2010, but it wasn't until 2016 when I started when I just branched off and and started learning some skills and started direct messaging some 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 business owners and start starting to really see my place in the industry to see if I can even build something like this to see if it, if it was if it was even a need um, 
for something like this, social media marketing services, right? That started in 2016. But but as I was diving in, right away, I come across a Ty Lopez and a Sam Ovens training course on how to build a social media agency, okay? So it was because of that course that really led me to, to believe that this is going to be something big and, and, and that I can do this and I can get clients and, and I can service them and, and all that stuff, right? And so as I'm learning this course and as I'm, as, I'm, as I'm just evolving and really, really stepping my knowledge up, I go out and get clients. I start, I start bringing on clients and offering all types of different services, social media management, posting on their page, graphic design, logo design, um, 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 running ads for them, um, managing all their platforms. In the very, very beginning, 2017, more like 2017, I wanted to be a jack of all trades. I wanted to be that one-stop shop and, and shit, it was only me. So I don't know how in the hell I was, I was, I was pitching that because it's not like I had workers or people working for me. I didn't know too much about delegation. So I wasn't hiring people off of Upwork. I wasn't hiring VAs off of freaking free off of Fiverr. I didn't know about any of that at that time, 2017. I'm just thinking, okay, shit, if this is what the market needs, posting Facebook page management, logo design. I'm going to freaking do it all for them. And that was my whole approach in the beginning. And that was the worst approach ever. Okay. So more towards 2018 is when I, is when I, is when I get into another course, Billy Jean, shout out to Billy Jean is marketing. Um, I end up investing in one of his courses and I'll never forget in that course, he was covering the importance of mastering one skill. And that one skill was Facebook advertising. He said, and this is something that stuck with me ever since then, and that, this is my whole entire approach from, from, from that point on, is the fact that businesses need one thing, and that's customers. They don't need all this other shit. They don't need posting for them. They don't need page management. They don't need freaking um, 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 trying to reply to everyone's comments on their Facebook page. It's like, dude, all of that mediocre shit doesn't make them money. Like The only thing that makes them money is when you run an ad that person clicks, they go to a landing page, and that, and, that, and that landing page captures a name and email, a lead. A lead or that person clicks, they go to a website, and they purchase. That's it. And when, he, when I learned that in 2018 from Billy Jean, he's like, dude, master one thing. He's like, you don't need to be a jack of all trades. You need to master one thing. And that one thing can be anything. It could be Facebook ads. It could be Instagram ads. It could be YouTube ads. It could be logo design. It could be graphic design. Whatever you are good at, whatever your passion is, go all in with that and provide that to the marketplace, okay? So all this other stuff. So here's the deal. The exact job duty of social media manager, Facebook manager um, when managing clients. I mean, what are their main work stuff's needed to do work work upon a, as a social media manager of clients company social media okay so this right here man if if that's your job if that's what you're trying to do for the for the client okay cool post for them manage their pages reply to people's comments and and do that if that's your job if that is your specific job a social media manager but i'm here to tell you right now that's a fuck. That's a freaking waste of money. Like I, if I was a business owner, I am not paying anybody to do any of that shit. And, and, and even if I'm a business owner, I am not going to be doing all that stuff. That's why today, and this started, a, this started a, a good, probably a good, a good couple of years ago where I stopped posting on social media. Like if you go to any of my platforms, like all my platforms are, are freaking legit. Like if I go to, like, let me just show you. If I go to, um, well, here's my business page, but let me just show you like how basic this is on my personal page. Like if you go to my Facebook personal page over here, all of my links are optimized, right? My Instagram, my Facebook business page, everything, LinkedIn, Pinterest, all the way down to my website, everything is inspired digital. But I stopped posting on all these damn platforms a couple years ago um, when YouTube sent me that first deposit when youtube sent me the adsense money i'm like shit i'm all in with youtube forget about posting videos on all these other damn platforms i ain't doing none of that stuff i'm gonna put all my content all my energy here on youtube because youtube is the only damn platform paying me and today today every 21st of the month again depending on when you're watching this um just today let's see it goes to Let's see, what email does it go to? Right here. 
just today, two hours ago, I get my deposit. Okay. Not a lot of money, a few hundred bucks, almost a G, right? But it's like, dude, this is residual. This is passive income, about a thousand dollars so far a month. And it's like, dude, I'll take it. I mean, shit, that pays my car payment. That pays my child support. That pays my groceries. That pays my light bill. That pays my water bill. That pays my freaking um, electricity bill. That pays a lot of shit, dude. Just, just an extra thousand dollars a month in passive income goes a long ways for most people in this world. Like most people on the freaking planet, most people, an extra few hundred bucks per month, passively residual income coming in, whether you sleep or not, that just a few hundred would change most people's lives. My, my Google ad money is about, is at about a thousand a month right now. So it's like, dude, like no other platform would have paid me that like at all at all. So it was, it was back then when me personally, I knew that posting on all these platforms were a waste of time, um, especially if I'm a local business owner. So Christian, if you're servicing local business owners, okay, local business owners, you'd have to be servicing a nationwide business or an international business to be posting for them on social media. So back to what you're saying over here, all this other social media stuff. It's, it's not necessary for a local business owner because as they build out their platforms, and it doesn't matter what platform it is, it could be Instagram, it could be their personal Facebook page, it could be their Facebook business page, it could be LinkedIn, Pinterest, Twitter, those are the top platforms. And then, of course, of course you got TikTok and, and maybe maybe another one, but but mainly it's these, it's these top platforms. If I'm, if I'm a local business owner, the majority of people who follow me on all these platforms don't live in my area. That's why as I consult small business owners, I'm like, dude, local business owners, I'm like, dude, stop posting. Like, what are you posting for? Why are you putting out IG freaking stories? Why are you trying to go Facebook Live on your personal page when your 3,700 friends don't even live in the area? Like, you service a very small local area. And even if your city is big, I'm in San Diego where there's 3 million people. But in reality, if I was a local business owner, chances are I'm only servicing a small area. Like, I'm not, I could be servicing the entire city. But, but a lot of times, like, if you just walk out your neighborhood, you got a yoga studio, you got a local gym, you got a chiropractor, you got a dentist, you have a freaking coffee shop, you have a dry cleaner, you have a plumber. These are all local business owners that service that community. Yes, they can service all 3 million people in the, in the entire city, the overall San Diego city, but in, in every city, there's these micro cities. I live in a micro city in San Diego. In my micro city, Chula Vista, for example, there's only shit. I don't even know. Like, Let's let's look in my city in San Diego. I live in Chula Vista. So the population in my micro city is 268,000. So it's like, dude, 3 million people in San Diego. But but if I'm a local business owner, I'm most likely servicing those 268 because those are people in my city. So as I walk out my door, this is my local community. Right. So. With that being said, posting all over social media and having 5,000 friends over here and having thousands of people on LinkedIn, none of them live in your area, bro. So if I was hiring you, Christian, as a social media manager, I'd be wasting my time having you post on all these damn platforms when none of the followers are in my area. So so, so again, if that's your, your role, then yes, you'd be posting for them. You can go ahead and reply to people's comments, manage their direct messages. But but again, man, I, I a business owner, that's not bringing value to a business owner, man, at all. That's not bringing value to a business owner. Even if like, like they would have to be super, super crazy, crazy busy to need you to do that for them. Everybody's on their freaking phone all damn day. Everybody's on their own damn Facebook. Everybody's commenting on their own shit. Everybody's checking their Instagram. Like everybody's already doing that shit. No one is that busy. No one is the president except for one person, the damn president, right? Everybody else are all Tom, Dick, and Harry's trying to fit in where they get in, trying to get in where they fit in or however the hell you say that, right? Trying to get in where they fit in. And they're all replying. That's why the direct message was so freaking effective for me. And, and the direct message on social media can be to can be effective for any of you guys that are marketing that organic way and that direct approach because everyone checks their damn messages unless you end up in the spam or something um in in, in you know in the spam folder 
people are going to open open up your message on LinkedIn, on Facebook, on Instagram. People check their shit. So it's like, I don't need you to do that, Christian, right? I'm doing it myself. Unless, again, I'm freaking crazy, stupid, busy, then then maybe I'll need you to do that. But at the same time, that ain't bringing me customers. That ain't bringing me value. And 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 here's another thing. Your business, that, that, that business's business page, again, they would have to be at hundreds of thousands of likes on their business page, right? Look at the like count on their page. They would have to be at hundreds of thousands of likes. And tens of thousands of those people would have to be in their local area for you to, for, for them to even need you to manage it. So if they're at freaking 300 likes, they ain't getting no traction over here, like at all at all. So posting shit ain't doing nothing for them at all at all. So so um, like you said, you have many you had many clients before um, when you, when you used to manage their social media page, do you also manage and reply? So, so hopefully that kind of covered on it. I don't, I never did that first of all. So let's just get straight to it. I never did that part. Um, because again, in 2018, as I was really ramping up my knowledge, I learned that none of that shit matters for our business. None of that. The one thing that I went all in on, on learning, and I'm still perfecting it today. I'm not the best at all, but I'm definitely freaking better than a lot. Um, and I keep getting better. It's Facebook ads. So you want to just kind of look at the industry, Look at the look at look at the marketing side of it all. It's the paid advertising of it. It's the it's the paid Facebook ad. It's the paid Instagram ad. It's the paid YouTube ad. Focus on those three, but then also focus at one at a time. You got Snapchat ads. You got TikTok ads. Focus on one at a time. Okay, so. I, I just happen to focus on Facebook ads at that particular time. Facebook ads is, is, is what was in high demand and it's still in high demand, no matter the Apple iOS, iOS update, no matter what's going on, it's still crazy in high demand, Facebook ads. Facebook remains King Kong. So what I did is I went all in with Facebook ads and I canceled all these other services that I was trying to do for that client because I just knew it wasn't bringing them value at all, man. Posting on their business page, hell no. You don't want to be doing that. Even if you're someone like me that has 10,000 likes, Facebook only shows your post to 1% of that like count. And if that like count, if the majority of them don't even live in the local area where that local business owner is doing business, it's a waste of time. Your posts are a waste of time. Run a Facebook ad, have it go to a landing page and capture a lead. That business owner will pay you for that lead. That's what it's all about. That's what it's all about in business. It's either capture a lead for me or make me a, get me a customer, get me a paying customer. It's one of those two lead customer, lead customer, lead customer, all this other posting shit. It, it ain't necessary. Okay. So, um, Tweet for the clients. Yeah, none of that stuff. None of that stuff. So number two, how do you charge or bill your clients? I literally take, and still to this day, I take their credit card right here and there. So as I'm on a Zoom call with them, um, I go for the close. And it's a one-call close. I don't call people back. I don't get back on Zoom with them to take their payment. Um, knock on wood. Like I'm very, I, like two things I always tripped out on about, about, how, about me and about my business and, and how, it, how it played out. Two things always trip me out. Number one was the fact that I had and that, that I have, I had and that I have um, a ridiculously, ridiculously high show up rate. So when I go and schedule an appointment, let's say I'm direct messaging someone on, on, on Facebook and then I go for the appointment. Okay, great. What time works tomorrow? You know, freaking send me your email and, and best time tomorrow, right? So I'm always going for the next day appointment, not next week, not in three days. What is your email and best time tomorrow? Okay. And they'll reply back with their email and best time that show up rate. When I meet them on zoom the next day, my show up rate is absolutely ridiculous. It's damn near hundred percent and nothing is perfect. So I'll say 99.999999% show up rate. Like, like people, like they just show it to my damn zoom call. Like it's, it's kind of weird. It's kind of weird. I have a ridiculously high show up rate. And then number two, number two, what I'll, what would always trip me out is that I was always a one call closer. So I didn't need a second call, nor did they need one, nor, nor did they ask for one. Like no one has ever said, oh, David, let me think about it. And that was because I started them off at a, at a low package. I started them off anywhere from 300 to $1,000, 300, 400, 500, 600 on the front end. Um, one time, um, 
and that's somewhat of a smaller smaller package. So depending on what country you guys are in, that could be a lot of money in, in other countries. So kind of just convert it, you know, based on 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 your currency and 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 what your market is is willing to pay. But out here in the U.S., that is what normally I, I would charge anywhere from three hundred to a thousand to do a couple services for them up front. And so that's where it all started. Is 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 me warming up that client. And, 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 and starting them off on a small package. And right when I show them exactly what I'm going to do for them, um, run a couple ads, which is, which is really all it was, um, I then take their credit card. And I take their credit card, and then I process it on Stripe. Um, I can either log into Stripe. This is the account over here or the um, platform over here. It's um, Stripe, Stripe.com. This is a free account. Um, you can set up a free uh, free, let's go to this one right here. So you can just simply set up a free account and, and Stripe, they just charge you per transaction. And that's how the majority of them are. The majority of the, of the, um, of these, of these payment processing, um, companies charge you per transaction. So majority of them are about 2% or 2.9%. Um, yeah, anywhere from 2.5 to 2.9%. Stripe is 2.9% of every transaction. They'll take 2.9%, which is standard, and it is what it is. Every single business out there that takes a freaking credit card is charged by their credit card company on per transaction, okay? So this is nothing different. Stripe just happens to be the most popular one for online payments. So the majority of, of anyone taking a payment over the internet is most likely doing it through Stripe. And so this is where, where I process my payments. So um, Stripe, you just set up a free account, you connect it to your, your business, you connect it to your bank account. And then um, when you process a, a credit card, let's say I process a credit card today, two weeks or two weeks, shit, no, hell no. Two days from, from that day, two days from today, for example, that money is deposited in my bank account, okay? So you just tie your bank account to it, um, and and that deposit is within 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 forty eight hours. You'll um, you'll get the deposit straight in your bank account, man. And that's how I would do it. And then um, and then um, and then this next one: How many social media pages do you manage for one client? Just one page. Example: If a client um, has multiple pages, do you manage all the pages? No, no, yes and no. But here's the bottom line: Hopefully, some some of this that I'm saying is making sense. All when I learned to just focus on one strategy, one skill, that was Facebook ads. So all this other stuff that you're saying up here, Christian, I didn't do. Like I didn't do. I did that for maybe, maybe, maybe almost a year, maybe, maybe. But then right away, man, right away, I switched it out. Right away, I'm like, hell no, I ain't doing none of that shit for you guys no more. No logo design, no graphic design, no freaking posting on your damn pages, none of that shit. Because again, I was learning from people better than me. You always have to be learning from people that are better than you. And when I'm learning from people that are better, when they say cut the fat, you cut the fat, right? And all that other shit right there, that's the fat. Cut all that fat, okay? And get straight to the to the high paying skill that any business is willing to pay you for. And that's Facebook advertising, Instagram advertising, YouTube advertising, okay? Um, so in this case, Depending on 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 Facebook ads or Instagram ads or or whatever ad, depend on which page they're running it from, that can determine how much I'm paying, or how, how much they're paying me, how much I'm charging them, right? So if I'm running Facebook ads for three of their pages, okay, great. Well, that's going to be a, a different monthly fee than than what I would charge them if I was just running ads to one page. Everything is about a Facebook ad account per account, right? So. If they had multiple pages, that'd be multiple ad accounts. Everything's not just ran through one ad account. Um, in my professional opinion, you should set it up all separately. One ad account for one business page, another ad account for another business page, another ad account for another business page. There are some cases where you can have a ton of pages tied to one ad account, but you don't want to do that. 2021 and, 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 and beyond, you want to keep everything separate. You want to have different credit cards for these different ad accounts. You want to have... Um, um, a custom domain for each of these ad accounts or for each or for each business page. So whatever the business page is, make sure you have that custom domain. That's very important from 2021 and beyond. Um, and so again, depend on how much they're charging or how much they're willing to pay will determine if I'm going to run multiple pages for them or not. So do you manage all the pages of that one client and charge each page differently? Yes, you can, you can definitely do that. So um, whatever you're charging per, per account, 
times it by however many they're they're willing to 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 pay you. But at the same time, most businesses aren't aren't gonna aren't gonna need you to run multiple pages like at all at all. Normally, when a business is gonna go all in with with a marketing person, normally it's one page. Like let's just start small. Let's get this thing up and going. Let's let's run this account. And even if they do have business pages, multiple business pages, and they're legit business pages, what I would do is I would still start them off with just one. I would say, hey man, let's let's focus on this one first. And once we get this one up and going, then we'll work on the next one, right? I would do it that way. I wouldn't go take on all three at one time at all, 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 you know, business pages from that one, one client, even, even if they're willing to pay me, I still wouldn't because I got to prove myself first, right? You got to prove yourself. You got to earn that trust. And once you do, then they're willing to freaking pay you whatever the hell you want. Um, so start with one. And then number four, you also talked about charging your client, um, 1500 1k for your services for a month and the other 500 for running ads. Yeah, my question is do you run do you run straight one month ads on the 500 or you split weekly um, to know what best yeah, to know the what best base on the outcome? Of the ad. Yeah, for sure. That 500 is not spent all at one time. Hell no. You got to, you got to, you got to manage that 500. Um, so throughout the month, throughout the week, you're running different ads, you're running different ad sets, you're running multiple ad sets, you're, um, you're, um, you're, you're seeing what ads work, what ads don't, you're turning off the ones that don't, um, and you're letting the ones that, 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 that work run. So Again, depend on the business and the cost per lead and, and, and the cost per sell or the cost per click or the cost per any of that shit. Sometimes you may not even have to spend all that 500. All you're doing is managing it all. What you want to do is you want to the 1000 in this case, for example, 1000 and then 500, right? 1500. What I'm doing with that client is I'm charging them on my Stripe account. 1000. That's to bring me aboard. That's for me to manage all this and run your Facebook ads. Okay. Is a thousand, but the 500 that remains open on their credit card on their ad account. So from my end, if you caught, I think it was yesterday's video or the day before, but my most recent video, uh, it might've been, might've been either two or three days ago. Check, check the videos here, two or three days ago. I'm showing you how to set up a, a, a an ad account or a business, a business account, right? So what I do is I, I'll request access to their ad account. I won't just request, request access to the business page. If I'm going to be running consistent ads with them, monthly ads, and they're paying me now a monthly retainer, then I'm requesting access to their ad account. From my end, requesting access to their ad account, right? That ad account, their credit card is tied to that ad account. That's their ad account, right? That's where the $500 open credit card line is at. So I'm not charging them 1500. I'm not charging them a thousand here. And then another 500 there. No, I'm charging them 1000 for my services. And then I'm going to let face, I'm going to look, I'm going to let Facebook charge them that other 500 when we spend it. And, and sometimes we may not even spend the whole amount, but I want them mentally thinking 500 one month. We might spend 420. Another month we might spend 400. Some months we may only spend 375. Some months we may, we may go to 500, but as long as I can mentally prepare them for 500 and all I want them thinking is 500, then it, then it doesn't matter if we come up short spending it great. And as long as we got good results for, for less than that, great. Sometimes you may end up having to spend more than that. It all comes down to, it comes down to your advertising skill. You got to know the basics. That's why a lot of you guys, I, there's a, there's a link in the description, fbadscheatsheet.com. As long as you're, you're covering the basics, you know, um, creating custom audiences, creating custom conversions, um, and, and knowing how to run these ads, then you should be generating leads. Now, it just depends on how many leads that business may want. Um, that's what, what's going to you know kind of dictate how much we spend. Do we go over 500 for a given month or do we stay below it? But, but also, at the end of the day, it comes down to content. And after speaking to thousands of business owners, man, on this exact topic since 2016, where 99% of businesses drop the ball when it comes to this and you and them hiring you and all this stuff, um, you running their Facebook ads, where 99% where of businesses drop the ball is they lack the consistency in content. Like I don't bring on a client unless they're willing to put out content. Okay, now images are one thing. They can just throw me, you know, freaking 300 images and I'll just rock with all them 300 images and we'll work with them here and there and we'll run a few ads on a few of them and, and I have a ton of images from them. But what I've done, and again, this is just based on my experience, everyone's different. I only worked with clients that, are, that were willing to put out video. And that might've been a shot in my foot because to tell you the truth, 
99% of them would lack the consistency of content. 99% of them would lack the consistency of putting out another video, right? So if you're running a weekly ad and, and, and you need a video from that client, I experienced most of them drop the ball. They'll get you maybe a couple videos this week, one video, next week, another video. But by the time we get to the third and fourth week, they're already freaking dropping the ball. Shit happens. They're busy at, at, the, at, at the office, you know, family, kids. They, they, they had a busy month and they couldn't make a video. All this random shit comes up when it comes to video. When it's like, dude, how easy is it for me just to pull out my phone and talk some shit? Like I can do that freaking while, while I'm taking a shit. Like I can, I can create, that's, that's the power of this damn cell phone is that dude, it's so freaking easy to create content, but most people will lack the, the, not even the ability, they'll lack the desire, they'll lack the freaking motivation, they'll lack the freaking discipline to create content when it's like, dude, it's your business, it's your content, you're just hiring me to run it for you, get it in front of the right people and capture some freaking leads, but I need your face on freaking video. Right. So that's the video approach I just experienced that most lack that consistency. So so you may want to go image. You may want to go image, you know, you know, with um with with your clients and just say, hey man, I'm gonna I'm gonna go out there and take a bunch of images, or or maybe if you have a bunch of images already, send them to me and I'll start I'll start I'll start using them as Facebook ads. Um and so it just comes out of testing, it comes out of testing different ads and 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 again. Depend on, on how many ad sets you're running, depend on how many ads you're running will we'll determine, you know, if you even spend the whole 500. Um, but yeah, you'll want to manage that 500. But but again, that that's coming out of their credit card and Facebook is charging them through their ad account. OK, so um, that's that. So I'm saying this because I'm about to work upon one client. Um, so I'm yet to charge her and I don't want to feel I cheated her or I'm the one cheated. So you're, you're high. So, so you're, so your very high opinion based on your long experience will let me know what to do and how best to charge her in order to arrive in better agreement. I, I totally get what you're saying, man. I totally get what you're saying. So, and lastly, all, all through ending all through, yeah, all through ending of last year till date, I was really learning the social media manager um, skills in order to work remotely during this pandemic uh, to make some earnings for myself. I will like I will I will like to work with you if possible. Okay, so learn something different. Okay, respect. Bro. Okay, cool. So so here's what I advise you to do, Christian. Here's what I advise you to do, man. First of all. You got to know, you got you to have that skill. Your skill is not social media management. That's not the skill. Okay, that's not the skill. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cross that off your product list right now. No, you're not going to be a social media manager at all. You're going to learn one skill, and that's Facebook ads. You're going to learn one skill, or that's Instagram ads. You're going to learn one skill, and or that's YouTube ads. It's all about paid traffic. That's what a business owner will pay you for. They can post them damn selves. They don't need you for that. But 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 what they can't do is run that ad, and and I know for example I know for sure it's 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 learnable it's teachable anybody can learn how to run Facebook ads it ain't it ain't hard at all but the patience the desire the need the want may not be there for that business owner so they're willing to pay you because they know how important it is they know that they're a local business owner. And the 3,700 friends they have on Instagram don't even live in the area. They know that much. They know that much because every time they post something regarding their business, it's crickets, right? They don't, they don't, they don't get shit. It's, 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 no one's liking it. No one's commenting because everyone's across the country. So to get straight to it, man, you got to run paid traffic. That is your skill. That's what the market will pay you for. And I, and I cannot encourage you enough to go out there and learn it. Learn one of those platforms, Facebook ads, Instagram ads or YouTube ads, or again, depend on the business, depend on the demographics of that business and their potential customers or clients, maybe even TikTok ads, or maybe even Snapchat ads, but it's ads, it's ads, 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 ads. That's what they're paying you for. Okay. So, um, Again, I have a basic FB ads cheat sheet.com, basic FB ads cheat sheet in the description. That's going to give you just some basic audiences that you need to you need to get familiar with. You need to start building these different custom audiences because your true ROI is when you retarget these audiences. A lot of people think that Facebook ads, you can run an ad and, and all of a sudden that's going to be the magic bullet. It's like, dude, that is so far from the truth. It's not even funny. Facebook ads takes an all-in approach. It takes the 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 um 
what's the word I'm looking for? It takes the, um, the, not the ability, but it takes the, the, um, it requires you to go all in. It, 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 it takes the mindset where it's like, dude, if I'm putting 500, I can't bitch at that 500 if nothing comes in. Like I have to keep running it. You have to approach it in a way where it's like, dude, I'm going to be advertising. I'm a business owner. I need to advertise regardless. Everyone and their mother is on Facebook. I'm going to go get some eyeballs there. Like that's how you have to go in. But but a lot of times these business owners, they Mickey Mouse it. They'll one foot in, one foot out. They'll spend a few hundred here and then not another. They won't run another ad for another couple months. It blows my mind on the inconsistency of most businesses. And this is based on my experience, right? Inconsistency in spending money, inconsistency on freaking producing content, right? Um, and so that's what it's all about, man, is staying consistent, finding those clients that, that, that are willing to put themselves out there, that are, wait, that are willing to put out the content, which makes it easy for you to run the ad. You're not the content creator, Christian. You're not the person out there taking the pictures unless you are, but you don't need to be that person. You're not the person doing the video for that, for that business owner. They need to provide the content. All they're paying you to do is to run the damn ad and make magic happen. And, 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 and that's on the front end. The back end is when you could take them to a landing page and capture a lead. So the biggest advice I can give you is focus on one business, Fo focus on one niche, right? Focus on one niche and perfect that. And I always say, what are you passionate about? I always ask people, what are you fired up about? What gets you excited? What's, what's an industry that you have experience in or you'd like to get experience in? Go after that niche, go after that type of a business owner. And so in my case, for example, the reason why I went after real estate agents in 2016 is because I came from the industry. I was a banker. I was a mortgage loan originator. I was the mortgage guy. I was the bank that real estate agents would come to to get their clients approved to purchase a home. Like I was the bank guy, right? So I spent six years as a licensed loan originator, licensed for the state of California and licensed for the for the state of Washington doing mortgages. So I already knew the lingo. I already knew the verbiage. I already, I already knew the swag. I already knew how most real estate agents sucked at advertising. I already knew that most real estate agents didn't even advertise because they didn't have the money. Like I already knew all the pain points and, and where, the, where, the, where the hole in the bucket was. And where it still is, right? Like I knew that because I came from the industry and real estate is something, something that still fires me up. I eventually want freaking thousands of apartment units one day. Um, that's a, a long-term goal of mine. So having my ear to the street and being in the industry is, is something I wanted to do. And that's why I went after that industry, went after that niche, right? Don't go after a niche that you have no experience in or, or, or ever plan on being involved in. Like don't go after a freaking plumber when you have no freaking clue on what the hell that industry consists of, right? Go after industries that you're fired up about, man, or that you have experience in that right there. Go find one client, go find one client, run some Facebook ads for them, capture some leads for them, and then turn that one client into a case study. Document the entire experience, get it on video, get it on screen share. Hey guys, this is David. I just wanted to do a quick video and kind of show you the, the amount of leads that I got for Joey, the plumber down the street and how I can get the same amount for you and your business with your plumbing company. Let me show you how I did this. I'm documenting my journey of me running Facebook ads for this particular business, capturing leads, what it costs. I'm just documenting it, right? And then I take that documentation, I turn it into a video, I turn it into a Facebook ad, I go run it and attract more plumber clients, right? All you need is one client to do that with, to, to, make, to, to, to help uh, succeed, take that content, and go and create and go and get more clients from it. That's what you that's that that's what you should do for sure. Focus on one industry, one niche. Okay. Now, what you also want to do, very, very simple. Find the type of niches that you can create a free offer around. Very, very simple, man. Very simple. This right here is what makes Facebook advertising so freaking effective and so simple. So, so, so here's what I'm doing. Here's what I'm doing. Here's what I've done. Here's what I even still do to this day. When it comes to all of this, right, it's all about Facebook advertising. But another service that I would include in that, because I also make a commission on that end as well, is the landing page. Because once I run the Facebook ad for you, you click on that ad, where are you going? So if I click on any freaking ad, let's go to the newsfeed. Dude, this is live shit right here, bro. Like I ain't playing with you. Let me, um, 
Look at this live news feed. I'm going to refresh the damn thing. Look at this live news feed. Watch. Okay, look. If I scroll through and I just look at a random sponsored post, okay, look. I click on this right here. I come straight to a landing page, okay? Come straight to a landing page where I can come down here, see a video, see one button, click on it. And this is where the lead happens, okay? This is where the payment happens. This guy's going for the sell. He's going for the sell right away, okay? Now, let's click on another one. But the fact is, he took me to a page. He took me to a landing page. Let's see if we can find one more. Here's sponsored. Shout out to Peng June. I click on learn more. And where is he taking me? He's taking me straight to a landing page. Landing page. Headline, image, name, and email. So... To make you a freaking ninja, Christian, and all the all all of the all of you that are still following me here, to make you a freaking ninja, okay, and 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 to 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 have a skill where any business owner would freaking bend over backwards to pay you, right? Facebook ads and or Instagram ads, right? So it's all all the same: Instagram ads, YouTube ad, Facebook ads. Choose one. Let's just say Facebook ads. The ultimate ninja skill and the ultimate package of all you need to offer a business owner is Facebook advertising and lead and landing page management. That's what it is. It's not social media management. It's landing page management. So I'm going to run your Facebook ads. And when that person clicks on your ad, they're going to come to a landing page that I'm going to create for you. They're going to enter their name and email. And that name and email is going to go onto an email list that I'm going to manage for you. And that email list is going to consist of call to actions to get them to schedule a call or purchase your shit. And I'm going to manage all that for you. So I'm managing their Facebook ad account and I'm managing their landing page software. And I use Kartra for all of that. So Kartra is, is, is the software that I use for landing pages, email automation, and an online calendar. And just, just, just landing pages and email automation, that alone is worth way more than even a thousand a month. But just to keep it simple, I make that sound like an added bonus. So I'm going to run Facebook ads and I'm going to manage your landing page software. So it's like, dude, if you're running Facebook ads and, 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 and you're not taking them to a landing page and capturing that email, you're freaking, I don't know what you're doing. Like that right there is, is, is number one. That has to be done for sure. And that's, and that's, that's just basic marketing, right? Unless you're taking them to a Facebook lead form, but then you still need some type of email autoresponder software. So you might as well just run conversion ads to a landing page and capture the lead this way, right? Because this way I can, I can customize this page and, and make it look however the hell I want for that client. So what I do is I sign up through Kartra, for example. So Kartra, this is my landing page software, my email automation, my online calendar, a whole bunch of more stuff in here. But through Kartra, they offer an affiliate program. So what I do, what I do, and even in here, let me show you all the funnels. Here's how I do it. I'm going to run a Facebook ad for a real estate agent, for example, and then I'm going to get them on to Kartra. I'm going to have them sign up under my Kartra affiliate link so I make the 40% commission every month. So now I have somewhat, now that's not a ton of money, but it is a residual income that's freaking building up. And, and my residual income just for this past, past week or whatever, or past month, um, where's it at? My last, my last uh, commission for Kartra for February was a thousand bucks, a thousand thirty one. All that is is a handful, and that's monthly. So all that is is a handful of freaking customers, um, a handful of my clients that are using Kartra. And why are they using Kartra? Because number one, I recommended it to them. But then number two, they need it for their business. They need it to capture a lead. They need the landing page. They need the email autoresponder. They need the online calendar, depending on what type of business they're in. So I offer to, to manage that for them. And all I do is I have a ton of funnels that are already done for them. So the moment I activate their, their Kartra account, they get a 14 day trial, but the moment I activate it, I transfer all these funnels to them. So again, focus on one niche that gives you the ability to come in here and make a shitload of funnels all for that one niche. And the moment you onboard a client, they're paying you the thousand to run Facebook ads. And as an added benefit, as, as an added bonus, you're going to also manage their landing page software and Karch is going to pay you a commission on it. 
And, and, and you also have all these funnels that are already done for them. So when you activate their landing page software, when you transfer all these funnels to them and they all pertain to their business, they're like, holy shit, that was the best thousand bucks I ever spent. Now, now, now you're not just some Facebook advertiser. Now you're actually willing and managing the back end, which is just as important. The Facebook ad is the front of the funnel. The back end is the back. The landing page, the email autoresponder, that is the back end. That's the most important, man. When I see that Facebook ad and I click, where are you taking me? That's the million dollar question. Where are you taking me? Where are you taking me, right? What happens after the click? That's the back end. That's your landing page software. So, so, um, so in closing, I hope that made sense, man. I hope that makes sense. It's paid traffic and landing page software. Um, that's where all your, all that, that's the only package you should do, man. That's what I've been doing. That that's all I recommend. Um, and that, that, those are the two, the two services that, that, that will give the biggest ROI to any business owner. Okay. Um, and then what else was I going to say? What else was I going to say? I was going to say, um, Oh shit. I forgot, dude. I forgot, but, but hopefully that was enough right there, man. Hopefully that was enough. Um, 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 and then, and then, and then what I did is I took all this stuff, you guys, and then I started documenting it. And, and that's what I started putting on YouTube. That was my YouTube channel. That's how I built my YouTube channel. So a lot of my channel, a lot of my, a lot of my freaking, um, um, videos on here for the past couple of years have just me has been me simply documenting, this entire journey, documenting how I use Kartra. Um, and that is what allowed me to create a whole nother income through YouTube alone. So, so not only did, yeah, well, not, not only that, but, but also a lot of people from YouTube see the link in the description, profit with Kartra.online. And they activate a 14 day trial that way as well. So I built a whole entire YouTube channel. So shout out to every single one of you, man. I swear to God, I appreciate every single one of you, especially those of you that got this far in the damn video. Um, I appreciate, I appreciate you more than you guys could possibly imagine, man. I, I truly, truly do. Um, because, because obviously what I'm dropping, you guys are picking up and, and any way I can bring value to another person like Christian who is just starting out or looking for answers. That's what I love to do, man. So if you guys are new to the channel, man, my name is David. I'm out here in San Diego. I've been building a social media agency since 2016, 2017. Um, now, now I'm just scaling my, my knowledge into digital courses and affiliate marketing, and I'm just fired up about making money online. So if that's you, subscribe, smash the bell for notifications, and drop me a comment below. Just like Christian, man, let me know where you guys are coming from and let me know how I can bring value to what you're doing online. All right, Christian, so let me know if this helped, bro. Um, and I can't remember what, what, else I, what else I was going to add on that, but 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 it is what it is. Um, oh, actually, actually, yeah. I, oh, shit. I'm so glad I freaking remembered. Okay, here, here's, here's the last thing I need to say. Go after one niche, right? Like I'm saying. But then also what makes Facebook ads, that's what I meant to say earlier, what makes Facebook ads so easy for certain types of businesses, what you want to do is you want to look for businesses that can offer some type of free offer. So if you're a plumber, right, putting out a Facebook ad, getting people to download a coupon for 35% off their first visit, or you're a yoga studio. And now, now I'm running Facebook ads to get people to download your free seven-day pass. Or you're a dentist, and I'm running Facebook ads for you to get people to download a coupon for a free teeth cleaning, right? Or you're a real estate agent. You're a real estate agent. And now I'm running ads to your local area to get people to download a seller guide. A seller guide is a simple PDF that gives people information on what it takes to sell their home. Simple information. And all these examples are PDFs, a coupon, right? So it could be a simple coupon that I hire someone on Fiverr for five bucks to design me a coupon for people to download. And it's a, it's a coupon for seven days, first free seven days to our local gym. You can, you can build that a restaurant. So damn easy to run Facebook ads for a restaurant. Run Facebook ads to the local area, get a shitload of people to download your coupon on buy one, get one free. Coffee shop, first coffee on us. Click here to download your first coupon, right? Or or free bago with the purchase of your next coffee. Click here. Like, dude, like there's endless ideas for, for endless businesses that you can you can create a free offer around and run a Facebook ad to get hundreds of people in that local area to download their shit, to download the offer. Now, here's the magic. 
Once we run ads to get a ton of people to download that free coupon, now we have hundreds of people on an email list that you're managing for them, Christian. So now they're not hiring you just to run Facebook ads. They're running, they're hiring you to manage their landing page software and their email automation. So now, now that we have 400 people on an email list, those are 400 people that you can now email every week, a new type of promotion. So you contact the business and say, Hey man, I got 400 people on our email list. What can we email them this week to get them back in the door? Right? So these are 400 people that would go in a custom audience that you wouldn't have to run Facebook ads to again, because they're already on an email list. And all you're doing is email automatically automating that email sequence, right? It's not like you're emailing the offer, you know, physically yourself, you can set all that up in an email sequence. That's why I love Kartra. I use Kartra for my landing pages, my email automation, my um, online calendar to host my digital course. I have a digital course where I'm selling my knowledge on all this shit, right? So Kartra is the one software for all. And again, I get that new client, their own account. I activate a 14 day trial under my affiliate link. Kartra pays me every month to just in incentivize me to help them become successful. And that's what I do, man. And that last Kartra check was a thousand bucks. I ain't going to complain. Like that is a thousand. My YouTube ad money is a thousand. These two passive incomes alone, man, a couple, a couple thousand a month and just passive income all take while I'm building everything else, right? So that was a long freaking answer to a long ass question. Shit, Christian, let's keep it real. That was a lot of shit right there. But hopefully, hopefully that made sense, man. And I appreciate you more than you can imagine. So shout out to Christian, you guys. Um, again, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and drop me a comment, man. As you can see here, I answer your freaking questions. So, so if I, if I really feel bring value to the overall community, I'll make a video or I'll simply reply, but either, or man, keep them coming, Christian, keep them coming, you guys. And I'll see you guys on the next video over and out.